Good morning, this is Aramel Magkalas, your subject teacher for Information and Communication Technology, Computer Hardware, Servicing 9. For today's lesson, it is all about Conduct Tests on the Installed Computer. What I need to know After going through this module, you are expected to learn about Testing installed equipment or devices. The use of diagnostic tools in testing installed hardware components and other peripherals. Software tools. Disk management tools. Test procedures. External visual inspection. Internal visual inspection. Testing installed equipment or devices. Good understanding of the health and safety regulations. As computer technician, you will need a good understanding of the health and safety regulation from early on your career so that you understand the good practice demanded by law. In particular, you need to report any accidents, take reasonable care of your own health and safety when moving heavy equipments, or components, not cause any electrical hazards, make sure that workstations meet safety requirements. You need to adhere to health and safety regulations as they will help to protect you and others and will avoid unnecessary legal action for reckless and unsafe working practices. If you identify any health and safety problems, you should tell your line manager or the health and safety representative immediately. The use of diagnostic tools in testing installed hardware components and other peripherals. Diagnostic tools. Diagnostic tools are used to test and diagnose equipment. Digital multimeter is a device that can take many types of measurements. It tests the integrity of circuits and the quality of electricity in computer components. A digital multimeter displays the information on an LCD or LED. Loopback adapter, also called a loopback plug, tests the basic functionality of computer ports. The adapter is specific to the port that you want to test. Toner probe is a two-part tool. A toner part is connected to a cable at one end using specific adapters such as an RJ45, coaxial, and metal clips. Software tools. Like hardware tools, there are a variety of software tools that can be used to help technicians pinpoint and troubleshoot problems. Many of these tools are free and several come with the Windows operating system. These management tools. Software tools help diagnose computer and network problems and determine which computer device is not functioning correctly. A technician must be able to use a range of software tools to diagnose problems, maintain hardware, and protect the data stored on a computer. The following are some disk management tools. FDisk, a command line tool that creates and deletes partitions on a hard drive. The FDisk tool is not available in Windows XP, Vista, or 7. It has been replaced with the disk management tool. This management tool initializes this, creates partition, and formats partitions. Format prepares a hard drive to store information. Scan this or CHKDSK checks the integrity of files and folders on a hard drive by scanning the file system. These tools might also check the disk surface for physical errors. Defrag 
optimize space on a hard drive to allow faster access to programs and data. This cleanup clears space on a hard drive by searching for files that can be safely deleted. System File Checker or the SFC, a command line tool that scans the operating system critical files and replaces files that are corrupted. Test Procedures A test procedure is a set of steps to guide you through what needs to be done to thoroughly test the installation. It is designed to help you work more effectively and to make sure you test everything that needs testing. Test procedures are created in-house and could include these steps. Gathering test information. The first step is to run the test required by the procedure and to find out what happens. You should record all the results of your test in a log so that you know which pass and which fail, thereby requiring further action. Validating the test information. The next step is to check the data you gathered from the test to make sure it is correct. This is usually done by running the test again. Responding to test information. This step is important because you need to be able to recognize when a test shows problems or is successful. For example, if ping is used to test a network connection, then request timeout shows the test was not successful. Checking specification. The final step is an important end to testing. You need to check the specification for the installation to make sure that it has been met. For example, if a user requested an upgrade to make the display run at 1920 by 1200, then the ICT professional should check that the graphic cards and screen can do this. External Visual Inspection The external visual inspection consists of a quick inspection of the exterior of the computer, the monitor, the keyboard, and any peripherals and cables. To perform the external visual inspection, perform the following steps. Observing the boot routine. Please be noted that most of the steps in this procedure requires observation of system functions and indications, some of which can occur simultaneously. It may be necessary to reboot the system several times to complete all of these steps. To observe problem indications during the boot routine, Perform the following steps.
Internal Visual Inspection A simple visual inspection of a computer's interior hardware can often lead to the source of a problem, such as a loose expansion card, cable connector, or mounting screw. To perform the internal visual inspection, perform the following steps. Please answer the following. Thank you for listening. This has been Sir Oak.